There's a time for play and a time for learning, and sometimes a time for both. Toys and games, all based on simple science, aimed at stimulating the young scientist in all of us, and made from everyday household objects that we'd otherwise throw away. <laughs> They are the creations of this man, Arvind Gupta. An engineer, teacher, toy maker and book lover. Someone who is himself still as fascinated by the science around us as he'd like his young protégés to be. You make a toy train with this. Now this is like, uh, this is like the two parallel lines, like the railway track. And this is the engine, right? And it starts from Shivaji Nagar Station, <laughs> right? <laughs> and it comes to the Pune Junction, which is the terminus. It doesn't go back to Shivaji Nagar, right? <laughs> and if you, look, if you stick a picture of a monkey on this, it will look like a monkey climbing a coconut tree, <laughs> right? <laughs> Appealing to a child's natural sense of curiosity, he never fails to cast his spell. In his time, he's invented hundreds of innovative ways of introducing science to children. This, a humble coin and a coat hanger, to illustrate the complexities of centripetal force. Slowly lift your finger and make it vertical. And you can't do that instantly. Because there's so many forces, you've got to experience them. It's a very complex thing. And now, this is well, you can stand a combo like this. <laughs> Simple demonstrations aimed at being understood by the simplest of minds, in theory. That's fine. There, yeah. I'm sure I'll get the hang of that then. Keeping simplicity and affordability as his guiding principles, Gupta's mission is to show how even the poorest communities can excite the young with the magic of science by drawing from the growing amounts of waste we produce. Discarded drinks packs, cycle inner tubes, toothpaste tubes, batteries and film canisters all can find a new life as scientific tools. Gupta believes children should be brought up to regard waste as the birthplace of new creation. And he has every right to blow his own trumpet. For children, the whole world is a laboratory. They're doing science all the time without being told that. Children learn a great deal without being taught. Now, this is adult uh, arrogance that we teach. <laughs> Children were born learners. They were born to learn. <laughs> so they learn all the time. With ever more demand for innovators in science and technology, many future leaders may have been created. Oh. There you are. Oh, my God. I can do it. Yes. I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Single-handedly, he has drawn thousands of children into the magical world of science. Basic scientific principles from the simplest of everyday objects. But from the small things, big things can grow.